Woke up this morning and I saw this trailer with a chica sporting the mental illness haircut, the blue version of it. <laughs> the, I went to the website where Japanese people talk because I was curious what they have to say about it. Considering that uh, a higher up at PlayStation issued an official statement a couple of weeks ago saying that PlayStation is still a Japanese company. And I find it very weird that you have to mention that. So we're going to see what the Japanese people have to say in the comments in a bit. But before that, I want to point out my thoughts about the releases. So the first thing that really annoys me is that play has no limits motto. It's like, what on earth are you talking about? Play has many limits. One of them is the number of exclusives that you're releasing. PlayStation 5 doesn't have many exclusives. Like it, it, There are very few. I don't understand why people would buy a PS5 at this point. But people not only buy it, they, they are willing to pay the price of the price gougers. I mean, PlayStation 5s, um, because of the shortage, they were selling with $4,000 and people were buying them. Like, absolutely insane. And imagine spending that amount of cash only to be announced that PlayStation 5 Pro is coming soon. I think it's like in one or two years. And I'm thinking, like, why? Like, dude, there's no games for it. Why? And I looked at the games that are being released, and, and one of the major issues is the high number of remakes. I mean, I get it, you know, people were complaining about sequelitis, and now it's remake -alitis. It's almost like Sony going like, hey, do you guys remember of your childhood? Remember when you played Knights of the Old Republic? Wasn't that a cool game? Didn't you enjoy it? Oh, well, you can live your childhood forever. You don't have to grow up. We're, we're going to remake your childhood. Uh, just kidding, by the way. No, like, here's the thing. Do you know what would be better than a Knights of the Old Republic remake? A Knights of the Old Republic sequel that's actually good. That would be better. But do you think they're capable of creating something like that? Do, do you think the modern-day corporations like Bioware, do you think they can actually create something like Knights of the Old Republic? I don't think so. And you know what? I think they don't think so. So that's why they're just making remakes. So you get Knights of the Old Republic remake. <clears throat> You get um, Alan Wake remastered. Who wanted an Alan Wake remaster? Honestly, like you can just play the old game and the graphics aren't that bad. You can just download it and play it now. But hey, you get a GTA 5 remaster. Who asked for this? No, seriously, like who, who wanted a GTA 5 remaster? Uh, and then you also get, I think it's like one more remaster. Oh, yeah, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. Didn't we just get one of these? It's just, it's just give one of these like the, the last time they they pushed the last game like they remastered all of them now they're remastering the remaster honestly they they don't look at you as a human being they look at you as a fat cow and they're coming with the buckets to milk you of money that's that's what they're doing so yeah i mean what can i say very disappointed <laughs> uh the only game that i'm genuinely interested about is god of war but is this enough to buy a PlayStation 5? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I, I mean, meh. So, other than that, like Spider-Man 2, something with cars. I don't care about cars. Wolverine. And that, that's, that's you know, kind of it. That, like, remaster, 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 remaster. Horrible. Um, this, this didn't happen back in the day, by the way. Like, when, when PlayStation 3 came out or PlayStation 4 came out, sure, you had the remaster one or two, but not, not like five of them being announced. So I used Google Translate in order to see what the people in the comment sections are saying, and, and feel free, you know, just type this. I'm not, I'm not giving you the link. Type this. Don't be lazy, you know? If, if you're lazy enough to type this in your browser, why do you think I'm not lazy enough to give you the link? Uh, and I, I only found like one or two positive comments, but most of the people are asking Jim Ryan to leave. This is the, uh, person in charge of PlayStation, uh, famous for the, the famous article, uh, Jim Ryan is leading PlayStation to its death <laughs> from Metro.cock. Uh, did it make sense to broadcast it in Japan? Again, like the people in Japan are, are complaining that PlayStation isn't catering to them anymore, like it's not sensitive to Japanese culture, even though it's a Japanese company, allegedly. The comments were for Japanese people, and it was rough. Uh, there, was, there wasn't any game that I wanted. I stayed with PlayStation 4. Um, 
obviously Google Translate got it wrong. Um, but you, you get from the context that he was saying wasn't any game that he wanted. I prefer to sleep than watching this. I'm really glad I didn't catch it live, by the way. <laughs> I, would have, I would have been upset. Uh, political correctness is hard. I guess on the surface, uh, this might sound racist. So many black characters because of too much consideration for political correctness. So on the surface, yeah, it sounds racist, but when you think about it, is it because the game developer really wants to tell an interesting story with a black character? No, that's not the case. It's more like a checkbox. It's like, okay, if we put a black person on the box, the game journalist will love it and will give us great reviews. That's how it feels like. It feels tokenizing. I mean, you, you can replace that character with an Asian chick and the game would be the same. Um, a, a good, by the way, like a good story with a black character, in my opinion, uh, was Luke Cage, done by um, Marvel. I mean, I, I love that because it actually showed the black culture in the United States and how bad it is to uh, be born in poverty and uh, the, the the gang mentality that's very seductive to young kids. Like that, that was a good, you know, a good movie with a black character. Um, and there's many others, but what Hollywood is doing and what video gaming companies are doing now is they just put a black skin on a genetic character and they're like, oh, we're so progressive. It's like, yeah, okay, maybe, I guess. Uh, it's pretty much like Marvel. I saw the Ten Rings and they had the Romanian character there. I, I never felt more represented in my life, except there was like literally nothing Romanian about him. It was just like, yeah, he's that guy and he's Romanian. It's like, okay. Is there anything interesting about this? No, 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 he's just Romanian. I'm like, all right, that's kind of cool. Didn't even look Romanian, but okay. <laughs> uh, so, so I guess like that's how probably uh, people of color feel when they're represented in these games. The only people liking that is the journalists. <clears throat> they really collected every games that uh, look similar to each other, and, and I gotta agree. You know, like there's very little innovation in the video gaming world now. Um, every publisher does what's safe, which is why you see so many remasters. Um, it used to be very different. Like when I was growing up, I think uh, in the early 2000s, the 90s, 2010, you had like games that completely revolutionized genres and completely used like new systems and they were really cool and amazing. Uh, nowadays, not so much. Every every single game feels the same. It, it's really annoying. It's like, okay, you get a third-person action RPG or an action game where uh, you have, like, a talent tree. It, actually, did you notice that every game has now a talent tree and crafting? It, it's so genetic, but okay. Um, isn't it a Western game from some unknown manufacturer that borrowed the company name of Square Enix? So, yeah, it's uh, like Japanese people are really upset. Uh, because their culture is just so different than California Nya culture right now. And they don't feel represented by a Japanese company. Um, and by the way, like don't, don't take it the wrong way. There, there were people that were enjoying some of the games uh, because they wanted to try something new. But even those people were saying, yeah, we're not, bu we're not upgrading the PlayStation. Like we're sticking to PS4 Pro because um, there's no reason to upgrade right now. Yeah, so... Um, Japanese people aren't happy. Let's put it like that. I, I think I, I could find one or two positive comments. But hey, you know, if you can find more, like, feel free to send them to me. But almost everyone is mocking this or is displeased by this. Uh, as for me personally, like, the only thing that I mind is the lack of exclusive video games for PlayStation 5. Um, and the audacity to try and release PlayStation 5 Pro right now. Uh, there is literally no advantage in getting a console. None that I can think of. Like, what? Well, instead of getting a console, you can use that money to upgrade your PC. And you're going to be better off. And, and you can have more video games that are PC exclusives on Steam than you can have on PlayStation 5. That That's my take. You know. But hey, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'll see you guys there. Take care.